गिव अस योर इंट्रोडक्शन मोर नाम अंशुल शर्मा आई एम फ्रॉम जोहट आई कम्प्लीटेड माय स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम एयरफोर्स स्कूल जोहट जोहट अ कोपा जोहट सर रजा मैडम रजा मैडम मन मोर घर देन आई कम्प्लीटेड माय इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम काजीरंगा यूनिवर्सिटी कुछ है 2016 आई पास आउट एंड देन आई प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर सिविल्स इन दिल्ली फॉर टू इयर्स and currently i am working as a contractor in municipality i am executing projects of municipality you are a private contractor yes sir okay then uh, 2016 you were passed out yes sir mechanical engineering no sir civil civil engineering okay and any hobbies you pursue sir whenever i get time i i cook for myself and uh, are you married no sir i am single and i love teaching so i teach in a student tutor as an online tutor i have my two students one of history and one sociology you, you have sorry i'm teaching in uh, student.in it's an online platform for home tuitions so when i was in delhi since then i'm teaching in that platform so uh, you are a private contractor what projects have you completed latest one sir i have executed swachh bharat missions uh, toilet units 24 toilet units i have executed one uh, bylin road uh paver block uh 116 meter and currently i am executing a drain uh in city area you you have your own farm or trade license yes sir i have my own. what is the need of doing civil services then you're doing great in your life uh sir after completing my engineering in civil and uh, after pursuing for civil services for 2 years and then executing projects on ground level in municipality i realized that uh, the economical development is intrinsically linked to social development i mean सोसाइटिक बुझी नोप आगत आम जिमान डेवलपमेंट कर हलिस्टिक नो मैं ये स्वच्छ भारत मिशन कर टाइम निजे रियलाइज करल इफ पीपल हेव द हेबिट अफ ओपेन डिफिकेशन इवेन द गवर्नमेंट एक्जिक्यूट्स द प्रजेक्ट अफ टयलेट्स इट इज स्टील नट फांगशनल इन मेनी प्लेसेस सो आई थिंक इट दैट लेवल सीभिल सार्विसेेस मे बी इट इज द ओनलि वे टू सार्व द सोसाइटी उदउट उथ अंडारस्टेडिंग द सोसाइटी and you have the financial backup of the government you have the capabilities then you can do larger benefit for the people the so civil engineering give a limited scope for it sir so that is why you coming to civil services yes sir i have been doing it for past 4 years sir jodi moi eneke bhabu je tumi civil engineering ekane ahi sa civil services now you can avail the benefit because you know the thing peter can ekane kaam hoy project project to gompwa project to kenake koribo pari so you will get the benefit for yourself for your farm so i think uh, your opinion is a symptom regarding uh, there is a lack of trust with contractors even the police service is also suffering from this stigma only but sir this is only one part of it my understanding could be utilized in a better way i know that what are reforms which are needed in the process why there is a delay of projects what are the reasons what problem contractor face and what are the way we can improve it and uh, with my uh, grassroots level experience i think i'll be only be able to add up for it sir okay what is your option and subject so my option was sociology sir ohomot soy janagosthir jitu andolan dabi korisile reservation or and do you agree with them do you first of all do you support reservation sir i think yes tum tum hi reserved hoy ne reserved category no sir i am general category do you support it yes sir because uh, even still today caste as an institution it may have been uh, er- eradicated from ritual sphere but sir in uh, in the sphere of social inclusion suppose i want to quote a data of national survey 98% of the marriages are still caste marriages in india that is within caste so yes no matter caste have been uh, not visible in our normal life but sir this still uh, is in india in indian society caste is still a problem so that is why i think reservation is for time being needed for social inclusion sir but uh, but uh, second generation also getting the benefit is it justifiable so second generation might get economical benefit of it but social inclusion has not yet happened they might be economically well off but as a society uh, there is still some sort of hierarchy this is visible in terms of marriage we see they read about uh, caste violence also so is there caste violence in assam so assam has been uh, peaceful uh, when i compare it to north india because if i go to history the caste as an institution have been diluted in assam the brahmanic tradition have been well integrated with the tribal elements and the indigenous 
culture of here. So that's why uh, here the caste as an institution is not that much rigid as in uh, North Indian gangetic pains, sir. You live in Jorhat, okay. You've been to Mazuli, I guess? So I have been once when I was very small, sir. What is the tourism prospect of Mazuli? Tourism prospect, uh, Mazuli has uh, untapped potential now. It is latent, sir. But we have certain challenges. It may be from infrastructure, other challenges, security issues, and uh, especially of the... What potential it has? So it has tourism potential because uh, it can be used as a... Uh, Use as a medium to propagate the Vaishnavite uh, uh, Vaishnavite culture, and it can link to it. I would say that it is a, it is a bridge to connect uh, Assam to rest part of the India, because with the help of Bhakti movement that was uh, that happened in uh, 15th century, and Srimanta Shankar Dev uh, and others, Madhav Dev, they have established monastic tradition. This is a link with large-scale Hinduist society in India. So, what principles of Nehru Vaishnava movements are most relevant in a present con the context? So, present context, I think, uh, for me as a student, uh, the third pillar of satsang, that means uh, in the company of good people, is uh, very much necessary for, personally, I feel this. And uh, the one God principle, which uh, Srimanta Shankar, they've tried to explain that there is one God. This was not literal meaning, but he wanted to tell that there may be different Gods, but extreme devotion to God is the only way for salvation, rather than uh, we, we see many dysfunction of religion today, communalization, fundamentalism, violence. So I think the devotion, the Bhakti Marga is the only way for peace. So this is relevant for not only for India, the rest of the world as well, ma'am. So language diversity is a threat to national integrity or not? No, sir. I think this is uh, this is not a threat. Uh, India have performed relatively very good, and I would like to mention the example of South Africa. South Africa's national anthem have five languages. Uh, Singapore, as in country, is very successful. The population of Singapore mainly consists of India, Indian, Malay, and Chinese, but they choose their language as English. So I think one language, one nation does not work with a country with India and uh, imposing this we have seen problem in Sri Lanka 1971 uh, separation of Bangladesh was also result of this only sir do you think that uh, in Indian economy in the Indian economy we have still inequality so yes sir Indian e economy is uh, we have facing the problem of high inequality sir how can we reduce this inequality so this inequality was the uh, exaggerated after 1991 globalization due to new liberal principle state have taken the back seat in development and the private sector is uh, taking the market however with the new concept of inclusive development this uh, this problem of economic inequality could be reduced state have been taking measures like providing basis, basic social security to people education health there's much need to be done on this part sir but I think going in this direction is the right way for now. Do you think that increase in national income is uh, a right index of measuring welfare of a country? Sir, at first, uh, at first point it looks that it is, uh, it is right, but sociologically speaking, uh, development is a very subjective experience. So, sir, I think to quantify this in terms of national income, is, uh, it will be a bit little myopic view. I think other things like education, health, and overall happiness, which is which cannot be quantified, is the right way to de de measure the development. I think uh, once national income is increased, your standard of living will be improved. Then once standard of living is improved, that means welfare has increased. From that direction, can you say that national income increases welfare of the nation? So it increases, but that is not always so I would agree that it increases because it depends on the distribution of that income. Here statistically we go with the average, but that not, that not might be true on ground. Some person, like Oxfam report tells that 1% of Indian holds 50% of the asset of this country. So the distribution is the issue in this type of index, sir. Okay, okay. thank you. Acha, you are from Jorhat. So apart from the hot trust, what else is uh, Majuli famous for? Majuli is famous for uh, uh, Riverside. Uh, no, I'm talking in terms of material culture. 
the material culture of Majuli has been also largely shaped by the Vaishnavite movement only. Different form of art, craft like mass making, handloom, and uh, in terms of agriculture, uh, the production of uh, mustard. All these places, uh, all these things are uh, in Majuli. But the overall culture is also uh, have influence of Vaishnavite culture only. Do you uh, watch uh, news, uh, news and news channels? No, I, I prefer print media, ma'am. What is the style of news reporting that we can find in newspapers, subjective or objective? Uh, it is both ma'am, it is objective also, it is subjective also. Uh, there are many good things also and there are many things which must be, which must be avoided in media like yellow, yellow journalism, sensationalism. Can you highlight a little bit of yellow journalism? That's a very new term which I am not aware of. Yellow journalism is a kind of journalism where which which is uh, largely based on TRP rather than actual media ethics. Okay, sir.